Yo, what is going on guys? It is AJ Vance here. I am back. I'm feeling 100% better. And so during my time being sick, we basically went down the rabbit hole that is AliExpress. And for those of you who don't know, AliExpress is a Chinese version of Amazon, basically. There's AliExpress and Alibaba where you can buy bigger quantities of stuff. Um, but yeah, I went down AliExpress and I found these. These are LED RGB lights for inside of your PC. They cost £7. And I think I might actually make this a series where I go on AliExpress, uh, buy cheap products and see how well they work, do a little review on them. Um, so I've never actually set up anything inside my PC before, so this is going to be a first for me. Uh, but we're going to try it, see how well it works, uh, see how good the light actually is, and see if it's worth the price. Um, I'll leave a link to it also in the description. Alright, we've got the PC up on the desk now because I can't do it underneath my desk, it's too dark and dusty under there. Uh, but let's first unbox these and see what they come with. Alright, so you get a bag with wires uh, and some of those things to stick the LEDs down. And then we have the actual little RGB LED strip that's going to go inside the PC and it also came with this which is I think the connector I'm going to need to actually hook it up. Now like I said I've never done this before but I do know it doesn't go um, on the motherboard so it has to connect to one of the uh, SATA cables behind the PC. Okay so it has a three pin connector on it and it has another three pin connector. No, it's not going to do that either. <laughs> so I think the easiest way would be to connect it, because this is a SATA cable, so I'll probably just connect it to one of my other SATA power outlets inside my PC. Alright, cool. So we've got this wire, which is the power wire. I forgot, we've got another bag here. We've got this wire. Alright, cool. So this is going to plug into this, just like that. And then we have this little three pin connector, which can plug in to this. It's not very stable, but we'll see. And then we need to get the SATA cable hooked up to another SATA outlet. Alright, that should be it. The cable should be set up. But right, before we um put where well, I don't know what you're meant to do with this side, but let's uh, plug it in and see if it turns on. Right, there's a moment of truth. I got my PC back underneath my desk so I could uh, plug it into the power source. I'm gonna power on the PC. There you go, it works. It actually is really really nice. It gives a really nice bright colour. Um it came with a remote as well. Alright, so we've got the remote, and honestly the colours look really really nice. This is auto, it's got loads of different modes. This is sick, for £7 I mean, you can't go wrong. Alright cool, we're going to set this up actually so we can see it in the PC properly, but well, I'm happy with it already. Okay so now we know this works, what we want to do is want to get it through the other end of the PC into the front. Um, and I think what you have to do with this is, so uh, this isn't actually, this isn't sticky or magnetic, it slots into these plastic things that it comes with. So you stick these plastic things down and then you will slot this into those. Uh, and that's, it's pretty easy to set up. It would obviously be better if it was magnetic, um, but again, it's, it's really easy to set up. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Alright, there we go, we've got it set up how we want it. Basically this is where it's fed through from. So we've basically hooked it up along here to the end of the PC just before where the case where my case will go on. Uh, I didn't want to run it here just in case um, it blocks my actual um, glass case from going on there properly. So we've just done it along this part instead. Uh, but yeah, let's get the PC put back together, get the cases back on and then get it plugged in and see how it looks. Alright, the PC is back underneath the desk and now we're going to power it on. Is a moment of truth. Let's see what it looks like. Aye, that looks sick. That looks so sick. The light is set up. Uh, we can cycle through the different modes. So we have just the normal standard colours, the green, reds and blues, yellows, uh, cyan and purple. And then you have the different modes it can go through. And the piece is looking lit. Before that, there was like no RGB in there. Literally, the only thing I had was uh, the fans and a little light on the motherboard. But, yo, this looks sick. Alright, that is the AliExpress RGB lighting setup done. Are they worth the price of £7? 100%. The quality is actually amazing. The light is really, really bright. Um, you get a bunch of different functions on this little remote here. Uh, that you can cycle through and yeah like i said the light is actually really nice it doesn't look like a cheap light i was honestly not expecting to get something such high quality for such low price especially from aliexpress they're known for sending out less than decent products sometimes so 
Highly recommend it. I think we will turn this into a little series where I'll buy little gadgets and gaming stuff from AliExpress and do reviews on them. But this one definitely gets a pass. If you're in the market for RGB lights for your PC, then I'll definitely recommend checking these ones out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you did enjoy it. Peace.